Hi, I'm Patty Bullard, the owner and designer of Weber's Jewelry Making Tools, and I'm excited to be here today at the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. I want to share with you a line of Weber's tools that are all the round mandrel pliers. You can see there's different sizes. There's actually five different sizes, and each one has two different sizes of jaws, so that it gives you 10 different sizes that you can get from this one set of pliers. You can buy them individually and just pick and choose what works for you. Now, I want to show you a great easy way you can use these to make your own findings. A good example is an ear wire. If you can make your own ear wires quick and easy, that will enable you to say your jewelry is all handmade. I'm going to take a two inch piece of 20 gauge wire that I've cut both ends a flush cut. I'm going to take my small uh, bail making pliers that are the Weber's and I'm going to use the larger jaw and I'm going to roll a little loop right on the end. And you can see I just roll that loop like that till it's closed. Now, once I have my loop, then I'm going to take it and I'm going to use my large bail making pliers. I'm going to put the loop where it's facing me, almost like it's a little head, and this is the neck, and that's the chin. I'm going to put the chin right against the pliers just like this where it's snug, this will measure for me. I roll it around the smaller jaw till it's almost closed, like that. Then I remove it, and then I can take my Baby Weber's flat nose, they are the perfect width, to measure the little crook that will hold it in your ear. And I just put it where the edge of the wire is flush with the edge of the jaws and give it a little crook like that. Now I want to show you something. I made these ear wires here a little bit earlier, and you can see how they match. So if you want to spend an evening actually more like 30 minutes making your own ear wires you can make 20 sets i just cut 40 pieces of wire flush cut on both ends that are two inches long and then i get to work and you can see i don't even have to match the sets they all match perfectly now the weber's round pliers are good for so many different things I can't wait for you to use your own imagination, but I'm going to show you another little trick that's one of my favorites. There is a link that I like to make. I use it to make chains, and also I've made a beautiful cuff over here where I hinged the links together. This link I call the Sorrento Scroll. Here you can see a necklace that I've made uh, that uses it as links to join, but also part of the back of the necklace is made just from a chain made from the Sorrento Scroll link. Now, what I do is I'm going to take 16 gauge, this is actually silver filled wire, and I'm going to start with a flush cut. I shield it so it doesn't pop, and also you notice to get a flush cut, I put the flat part of my cutters right towards the part I'm gonna keep. Now, I work right off the coil because I don't like to measure, and I don't like to waste wire. So I take my pliers, I'm going to roll a loop around the larger jaw. And you can see I just roll it just like that. I pull the pliers out, and now I'm going to place them right here, roll around the smaller jaw, one and three quarter times till it's in this position. Pull my pliers out. This time I flip them around because I'm going to go back around the larger jaw until I cross over. If you look at the back side, it crosses just like that. Now I take my cutters and I'm going to flush cut again. So I put the flat part towards the part I'm going to keep. Just cut it right before it crosses over. And now I will take my flat nose pliers and just swing it. When I want to open and close it, I swing it just like the motion you use when you open and close a jump ring. You can see now I've made a link. This is one I made earlier. You can see that they match. Let me turn this where the cut side is the same. And I can just link those together in any way I choose to make all different kinds of designs. The Weber's mandrel pliers and the bail making pliers are great tools to add to your jewelry making collection. I want to thank you for joining me here at the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. And I want to be sure to remind you to check out the catalog, visit the website, and there you can find a full collection of Weber's plus other great jewelry making tools and supplies. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.